Hi everyone, happy Friday and happy new release day. 2020, Topps Tribute Baseball is finally here. Six Box Pick Your Team 1 is also finally here. Maybe we'll find that guy or maybe some of those guys right there. That'd be pretty cool. All cards ship in this. A lot of great stuff in here. So thanks everyone for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com has more tribute on the site. Big thanks to all these folks who got their team straight up. Six box picker team one, Friday the 10th. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Now you notice some RNB, some random number block teams. So there you go. So it works just like our random number block breaks, but only for those teams and only for picker team one in this particular case. Let's give myself a little room here. Did I upload that number block video? I did. Come on, man. Come on, Joe. Killing me here. All right. There you go. You gotta. It's on the record now. It's uploading on the record. There it is. Big thanks to everybody once again. A lot, of, a lot of crazy times here. Strange days. But I appreciate you hanging with me. We'll make it. I know we will. All right, let's slide that over there. Slide that back there. There's box number one. We're doing all six. Let's get right there. All right. Okay. Good luck. What do we see? And I know Jason did a couple random team breaks. So thanks to him for coming in early for that. Um, do we see anything anything cool? What does everyone think? This is my first live look at it. What are everyone's initial impressions? Well, small sample size at the moment. Just a couple cases, but... I think these are base cards on the bottom. Yes. Hmm, double base card? I think so. Tyler likes the sharp design. We got a Robert Auto. Luis. Luis Robert? Philip likes it. Loves the design. Yeah, at first glance, I do like it. It's got that sort of, what what sort of design would you say? This is sort of an Art Deco look? Like a, like a Gatsby kind of look? Is this the Gatsby of, uh, is it a Gatsby sort of design? The Gatsby of all baseball products? All right, so let's see what we have here. We got Reese Hoskins. Pretty good stuff. Ramon Laureano, and our first hit is a dual relic. It's Ichiro and Yusai Kikuchi. 18 out of 150. So these don't go in 130s, huh? No, it's a little, it's a little too tight for the one thing. All right. Nice. So the, both of those are Mariners. That goes to Chris Walker and the M's. There's the Babe. 47 out of 50. Whoa, that's pretty cool. What is this? A one of one kind of loose old card here. Wow. Tribute to the T206 series. That is awesome. What does it say on the bottom right there? Factory number 25, two cent distribution VA, Virginia, I'm assuming. That is awesome. And that's old, uh, 
Old L. Tannehill. Remember old L. Tannehill? Ryan's great-grandfather. <laughs> Now, I'm assuming that it says Chicago Amer. So is that Chicago American League? That checklist is out, right? Stand by. Checklist added on cardboardconnection.com. I'm 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 thinking it's gotta be White Sox, right? I just wanna I just wanna double check. And I also wanna see who else is on this checklist. I don't think this is on. I don't see it on the checklist. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it'll will it will go to the White Sox. Michael K with that one. Who are the other players? Maybe these are just special little inserts here. That's awesome. So Michael K. With the old White Sox, Lee Tannehill, and it's it's a little loose there. I don't like that, but when did when did when did he play? He played from 1903 until 1912 for the Chicago White Sox. There you go. Not on the Beckett checklist either, says Derek. That's crazy. So some surprises in here, ladies and gentlemen. Michael K with the White Sox, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That is awesome. Let's just tag that here so there's no confusion. Also, I know it's a family show, but Piedmont is the cigarette of quality. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to snap a picture of that. That's for sure. That'll definitely be picture time. All right. There's a Nick Senzel stamp of approval, 63 out of 150. Now, if you're not familiar with these uh, hologram stickers here, this is an extra layer of authentication. If you go to um, MLB.com slash authentication, I think, you can punch in those letters and numbers, which in this case is JC632527. And you can see exactly what game that jersey was from, which is pretty cool. That goes to the Reds. Reds is a number block team, so 63 out of 150. Reds 3, Jose. Jose Zapata. That's Kershaw right there. And our first auto is going to be Reese Hoskins. 50 out of 99. That's nice. Ryan Redmond was saying earlier, he liked what Jason said about this. All the guys in here have great autos, great penmanship. Reese Hoskins, definitely one of those guys. Phillies, that goes to Derek Hamilton. And then we've got Thurman Munson. Game used, triple bat, relic, 42 out of 50. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for B.J. Jordan. All right. I think we've got a couple extra hits in here. Maybe? No. Extra base card. Jacob deGrom, Chipper Jones, and we've got Cool Whit Merrifield. Oh, I like that look. It's 
43 out of 99 for the Royals. Jonathan G. With the Royals. Nice. Iconic perspectives. Autographs. Oh, nice, Ryan. Does he have any cards? All right, and back here we've got Austin Meadows. 25 out of 99. That's for the Tampa Bay Rays. That'll be for Patrick Davis. All right, nice start, boys and girls. Really nice start. Now we got to set that, set that card aside for picture time here. Set it right there. All right. Next one. So far, so good. Box two, pick your team one. Good luck, everybody. Good start so far. That old tobacco card is pretty incredible. A lot of people ask if I collect anything these days. I really don't. I, I have the, you guys give me the, the luxury and the blessing of seeing cards every day, which is nice. So it kind of scratches that itch. But if I were to start seriously collecting, at some point I will. I definitely want to start collecting some of these old tobacco cards I think would be really neat. All right, next one. Am I dressed up fancy today? Just got a hat, a Jaspi shirt, and, uh, and this zip-up cardigan. It's not that fancy. There's Keston Hira, 95 out of 150. That's a fancy autograph. That goes to the Brew Crew, Caleb, with the Brewers. I don't know. New, new release day. Nice, nice sweater for new release day. Colton, what's going on? Yeah, we are, we, we, are, we are staying safe. So far, so good. And there's Jordan Yamamoto, 24 out of 99. Marlins autograph. That's a number block team. Miami 4 is for Kevin S. Kevin with that one. There's Victor Robles. What's going on here? Just a little extra glue or something like that. Victor Robles. Nine out of 150. I know, another hat day. The hair and makeup girl isn't here today. Also, with my hair growing, um, and this being a sort of tighter fitted cap, I'm not going to have too many opportunities to wear this <laughs> when my hair grows out. Tatis, Rizzo, and Randy Johnson. It's, it is a zip up. Mike Tower. There's Randy Johnson, Snakes Edition, Diamondbacks. 53 out of 150. Nick L with the Diamondbacks. Sean Corbett, summertime, when the weather gets warmer, you'll see you'll see a lot more non-hat days. Freddie Freeman to 99. So stay tuned for that. Stamp of approval. Victor Robles, 101 out of 150. Over time, my hope is that you know, over the years, as, as the, the hobby continues to evolve, I want to see more hologram stamps like that, just so we know exactly where these jerseys were from, what game it was from, 
blah 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 blah. I think I think that's what it will evolve to. Nationals are a number block team. Nationals one is going to be Jeff Peace. All right, and the next one here is another Keston Hira. This time out of 199. 190 out of 199. Two for Caleb. Caleb and the Brew Crew. No, John Tamison, I, I have not seen uh I have not seen Bill Simmons NBA redrafting specials. I've not seen that. I should probably check that out. That sounds like fun. Oh, they're listening, Mike Tower. YouTube just suggested a video for him. How to cut your own hair at home after your great clips comment. Their uh, stay at home hair hashtag. See, YouTube listening. They're calling it rewatchables. Or Redraftables. They have a show called Rewatchables, which I occasionally listen to. I can't wait to sell uh, to sell Jaspies to uh, to the Ringer. Get that Ringer money and that 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 Ringer production. All right, we got a Bluebird. That's Bo Bichette. Nice, 155 out of 199. Nice Bo Bichette rookie auto for Richard Zitterman, who picked up the Bluebird straight up. There's old Carlton Fisk, Red Sox edition for Jeffrey S. 15 out of 50. And these autos are nice. I oh, this is not this top loader not worthy of Carlton Fisk. Come on, Ultra Pro. Is the, I like the design this. I feel like I say this every year for trivia, but I, I like the design this year. Uh, Jeffrey S once again with the Red Sox. I think you're thinking of someone else, Vanilla. Randy Johnson, the big unit, is a dominating left-handed strikeout artist. Sazi Albies. And we've got Anthony Rizzo. Two-color triple relic. 14 out of 99 for the Cubbies. That'll be for Josh Proust. Yeah, if we could be an official something of the ringer, John Sam, I can't I can't wait to get that ringer money. We're always looking to sell. Sell out to the ringer. Or if ESPN wants to buy us, that's fine too. We've got a dual relic, both Astros, Nolan Ryan and Garrett Cole. Forty five out of fifty. Both game use memorabilia. Both for Philip Klein who has a Strohs. And we got a Dylan Cease. 45 out of 99. Cease and desist going to Michael K and the White Sox. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying, Vanilla Grill. You're asking, was was he a pitcher that could also hit? That I don't know. I don't I don't I don't remember how Randy Johnson was at the plate. I know like Greg Maddox and Glavin, I think, were, were a couple of good hitters for pitchers. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr., good hitter, 99. It's Gavin Lux to 450, nice. Gary Sanchez and Reese Hoskins, 
Stamp of approval. 22 out of 150. Another hologram sticker right there. So Phillies, Derek Hamilton, again, for anyone who gets these stamp of approval cards, it's worth looking up. Worth looking up to see what game that's from. You can even look up the box score on like Baseball Reference or something like that and, and go from there. I also think that these rookie numbered cards are not super common in tribute, at least traditionally that's the, that's been the case. So that could have some more value than you think, Dodgers, Tyler Brenner. That's the plan, John Samuelson. If, if I could... Uh, if I could get that ringer money, right? If we sell the business to the ringer, they up our production value, keep us on to just run the thing as we, as we usually do, right? Then we can get a little bit of that ringer money, get some of that sponsorship money, and then Topps Tribute Baseball would be sponsored by like, would be sponsored by like Roman or what else? Zoom sponsors the show. We get all those Zoom sponsors, Purple Mattress. Casper, we get all that. Indeed.com would be a sponsor. Welcome to the Indeed.com. Tops Tribute Baseball Break. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Presented by Subway Eat Fresh. Oh, man. Then, yes, we would be breaking... Well, it's a Tops Break. So this is, we're break, we'd be breaking Transcendent on a jet with celebrities. That would be great. We'd like to welcome in Joey Gallo on the Jaspi Jet to break open some Transcendent with us. There's Yasiel Puig for the Red. Has he been signed? I guess everything's been interrupted by COVID, but I don't think he, he's been signed yet. Two-color triple relic for the Red Legs. That goes to 99. Could be a good DH somewhere. That's a number block team, so that goes to Red Cincinnati 7. That'll be for Chris Meyer. I could go and, like, a good show, maybe a good show would be open up a pack of baseball cards and talk to baseball players. Francisco Lindor, 2 out of 25. People, people watch people eat hot wings and answer questions. What if I had a show where people open baseball, we open baseball packs with various guests? That could be a show on The Ringer. Should I pitch that to The Ringer? Francisco Lindor, 2 out of 25. Cleveland Indians, that'll be for Tim. Got the tribe straight up. We'll workshop that idea, John Samuelson. There's Jesus Lazardo, rookie auto to 150, 51 out of 150 for the A's. Jay Kreider picked up the A's straight up. <laughs> I'll well sell the idea to Leighton then. And then just be executive producer on it and then still cash in the money. ABC, always be closing. We got Josh Bell, Javier Baez, and Eloy Jimenez. Nice. 71 out of 199. Autograph for the White Sox. Michael K. having a nice break with the Shy Sox. No, I've not watched Hot Ones, John Sam. I've maybe watched 30 seconds in my entire life. I can't watch it. Because then I have craving for delicious, delicious hot wings. And that just throws me off. Rod Carew, 12 out of 20. Hard to focus on a show like that. Rod Carew dual relic going to the Halos. That'll be for Alexander and the Angels. There's Alex Rodriguez to 99. Vlad Guerrero Sr. Expos. I'll go the Nats. And that's a non number. What are we doing with non numbered cards? Their stamp of approval. Should I randomize it to one person? I'll randomize it. As a lot. 
19 out of 25 CC Sabathia stamp of approval. BJ Jordan. What are you talking about? We see him at conferences all the time. Oh, so he must just... <laughs> oh. So he, that, he's a trooper then for going to those conferences. There's A-Rod, M's edition, going to Chris Walker. Two boxes to go. Wait, does it say in the what Did I miss it? Maybe it says in the item description where non-numbered cards go. No, it actually says all non-numbered cards are randomized in one lot at the end. So I guess I was right the first time. All right, so I can't sell the show to him then. I want to find someone else. My Amari Cooper hands here. The break's not over yet, Derek Bratton. Derek, the break is not over yet. We've got many hits to go here between this box and the last one. All right. Play to the whistle. There's Jim Tome, Trout. And Roberto Alomar, Blue Jays edition. Richard Zitterman, 83 out of 150. We got Harold Baines, Nick Senzel, and Kyle Schwarber, 150, 140 out of 150. Josh Proust with the Cubs. I like this picture right here. I like this picture right here. He's like, yeah, let's go. Edgar Martinez, 15 out of 99. <laughs> right, Sean, yeah. See, I got a lot of practice. Edgar Martinez, 15 out of 99. Mariners, Chris Walker. 4 out of 50, Javier Baez. Cubs, and um, Edgar Martinez went to Chris Walker, and now we're going to Walker Bueller. 144 out of 150 stamp of approval relic for Tyler Brenner. So Tyler, look look that up. MLB.com slash authentication. JC795634. You can see what date that jersey was from. And you can also look up the box score to see if he made a start. It's harder with pitchers because you have to match them up to a start. A lot of times it's just like, oh, it was a game that they never started. With the hitters, you have a better chance of seeing if they did anything that day. I think a couple years ago, we had a really cool, was it out of Tribute or was it out of something like Strata? I forget. But we had a really cool relic. There's Jose Altuve, 46 out of 50 for the Astros, Philip Klein. We had a really cool relic of a Padres player, I think. And it was just a, it was just a white relic. It was just a napkin. You know what I mean? But it had pink on it, like liquid. It was like Gatorade. And so, but it had the stamp of approval thing on it. I wish I remembered who that player was. And we looked it up. We looked up the relic. Then we looked up the box score. Turns out he hit a walk-off home run. And that's where that jersey was from. It was a white jersey, Gatorade stains on it. And I thought that was, that, that was really cool. So that, that's the potential for, potential evolution for the hobby to get more of those stamp uh, the hologram stickers to authenticate the actual date of all that. All right. Reds, 190 out of 199. Play to the whistle, Derek Bratton. There it is. Cincinnati 0, Derek B. Nice player there too, Nick Senzel.
There's Eugenio Suarez, Fernando Tatis Jr., and Vlad Guerrero Sr., Montreal Expos, 10 out of 10. Nationals, Expo stuff goes to the Nats. And National Zero, Derek Bratton. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? Play to the whistle, man. That's what it's all about. That's what Coach always used to say. Play to the whistle. No, the, I don't think the team went to. I don't think the, I don't think that Raider that Super Bowl Raiders team did not go to T Tijuana. I think it was just one player and an important player. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, the center, the Raiders center. And I think, well, even if some of the team went, I feel like they were all they were all back. In time, but in by the time to get to bed, but kind of went on a went on a bender. And if you believe what Tim Brown says, Tim Brown says Bill Callahan, when facing John Gruden, never changed up any of the audibles or the calls and everything. So take that for what it's worth. Right, all it does take is one player, and it had to be the freaking center. <laughs> I mean. He struggled with a lot of mental mental health issues and stuff like that. I don't. He might not even be with us anymore. But so kind of a sad story, but not the best possible time. All right, we got Vlad Guerrero. We just got his dad's autograph, and now we got Vlad Guerrero Jr. The kid, twelve out of one ninety nine. That is for Richard Zitterman with the Blue Jays. He's got the Bichette. Rookie Bichette and second year Vlad Guerrero. Nice. And we've got Fernando Tatis Jr. 52 out of 150 for Chris Meyer and the Padres. Nick Senzel, 5 out of 50 for number 5 over here. That'll be for Diane. Nico Horner, 67 out of 99, will go to Josh Pruce and the Cubs. He has the Cubs. Yeah, Josh Pruce and the Cubs. Masahiro Tanaka, stamp of approval, 7 out of 50. Pinstripe Relic, Yankees, BJ Jordan with the Bronx Bombers. It kind of does look like I'm playing solitaire with these cards. We got Logan Allen. 46 out of 150. Autograph for the Tribe, Tim, with the Indians. Ah, Bear Robin's still with us, but just trouble with the law. All right. I feel like there's got to be like a, a tell-all book or a 30 for 30 on the horizon for that. Or they should, there should be. There's Andy Pettit. Two out of fifth. Not to be confused with, with our longtime customer Aaron Pettit. This is Andy Pettit. And that'll be for BJ Jordan and the Bronx Bombers. And the last stack here, good luck, Roberto Clemente, Cal Ripken Jr. And we've got Dansby Swanson, Triple Relic, 133 out of 150 for Matt and the Braves. A little something for him at the very end. And there you have it, boys and girls. Got to do a quick randomizer for those non-numbered cards. Look at that, there's a nice Bo Bichette and the... That one of one right there, the old cigarette card, tobacco card, pretty awesome. Some great stuff all around in this break, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks for getting in, really appreciate it. We got some more in the store, so uh, I would encourage everyone to go and get it. All right.
Let's. Oh no, I didn't want to alphabetize those. It's, want to grab those names? I'll do that later. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a two. Four the hard way. Hard four. Name on top gets the non-numbered cards for those teams. One, two, three, and four. So a little consolation prize for Drew Sanford. There you go, Drew. I, yeah, I, I'll do a little quick little hit recap right here. Sort of a longer break. There are your hits. Pretty nice stuff, ladies and gentlemen. There's more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So go and get it while supplies last. Some nice autographs, nice relics, some old school guys in there. Keston Hira, two of them. I like this too. This, this was one of my favorite designs right here. Iconic Perspectives. I think there's almost sort of a stained glass look in the back, which is pretty nice. That was Pick Your Team 1. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe. I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.